morning and welcome to Space Station Live here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room at NASA's Johnson Space Center. The Orbit 2 team currently manning consoles, uh, as you can see below you, monitoring all of the systems on board this orbiting complex. The team right now being led by Flight Director Richard Jones. Joining him at the Capcom console is Robert Hanley, serving as the voice communication link between all of our teams down here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. Those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 36, uh, drawing from countries all over the globe. They're currently being led by Russian cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov, a veteran space flyer on his third flight to the International Space Station. Uh, immediately behind him, you can see another Russian cosmonaut, Alexander Mazurkin, a rookie space flyer, and also NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy on his second space flight. Rounding out the crew, the three newer members on board the International Space Station, our third Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin there in the front row on the right, and behind him from the European Space Agency, Luca Parmitano, also on his first flight, and all the way on the right there, rounding out the crew, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg on her second. On board the International Space Station, the normal bevy of maintenance and uh, science experiment work going on. Starting off with Commander Vinogradov, who's moving throughout the Russian segment today, replacing the dust collector filters and uh, a lot of the ventilation ducts uh, on board that segment. He'll also be working with a Russian plasma experiment, uh, which was installed on the external portion of the Zvezda service module during a spacewalk back in April. He'll be activating that today. Uh, the experiment looks to study plasma waves and the effects of space weather on Earth's ionosphere. Meanwhile, his fellow Russian cosmonaut, Alexander Mazurkin, uh, will be reconfiguring many of the Russian segment systems, uh, particularly the Piers docking compartment, as they continue wrapping up uh, and restoring the Russian segment to normal operating procedures following a spacewalk, which took place last week. Um, you can see uh, on the back side of the station there, uh, the Russian segment, uh, that Piers docking compartment uh, that the astronauts uh, staged, uh, their EVA out of, uh, one of the only ones without a visiting vehicle currently attached. That'll be taking up most of Mazurkin's day today. Meanwhile, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy, uh, quite a uh, diverse array of tasks for him today. He started off working on the ARED device, the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. It's one of the uh, numerous exercise pieces of equipment for these astronauts on board. He needed to uh, replace a key, uh, key rope component inside of the device in order to make it functional for the astronauts again. Aside from that, he was working, uh, doing in one quick test run of the SPHERES experiment. SPHERES standing for Synchronized Position Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites. These small bowling ball sized objects that are completely self-contained satellites are used to test various formation flying algorithms and also uh, competitions with students around the country. Uh, these ones in particular that he was working with today, controlled by smartphones flown to the International Space Station, increasing their computing power and uh, adding a functional technology developed on Earth for use in space. Aside from that, he was taking some images of uh, the thermal control system out on the what's known as the TARGE, the thermal radiator rotor rotary joint on the P-1 truss earlier today. Meanwhile, our third Russian cosmonaut, uh, Fyodor Yurchikin, started off his morning taking some saliva and blood collections. Uh, he'll be storing those in a freezer for eventual downlink back down to the ground. Aside from that, he was working on the Coulomb Crystal investigation uh, that's aimed at studying the dynamics of solid dispersed environments in an inhomogeneous magnetic field in microgravity, crystal formations that can be uh, directly affected by uh, changing the magnetic field that they're exposed to. Meanwhile, European astronaut Luca Parmitano spending much of his day today uh, inside of the ATV vehicle, transferring some cargo out into the rest of the uh, station storage structures. Aside from that, he'll be working on the environmental health system, uh, taking a sample from the potable water dispenser, and also continuing some work that he and Cassidy will be doing throughout this week as they prepare for their two upcoming spacewalks. Uh, today, the two will be verifying that their EMU or extravehicular mobility units, uh, glove heaters, are functioning as expected, and also that their suit TV is receiving power from the REBA or the rechargeable EVA battery assembly. Uh, the two astronauts scheduled to uh, conduct two spacewalks over the next two weeks on July 9th and July 16th, uh, completing a number of tasks on the external structure of the International Space Station. 
And then our sixth crew member, Karen Nyberg, this morning was installing some alignment guides inside of the combustion integrated rack in order for, to prepare uh, it for some upcoming experiment work. She'll also be joining Luca Parmitano and transferring some cargo out of that ATV vehicle. And finally, she'll be uh, also working with the environmental health system, uh, taking some samples from uh, microbial devices and uh, other uh, water processing assemblies.